Chapter 2 on the run. Your turn, little man. Let's see what's back here. Oh, damn. Christ on a cracker. Did that jerk seriously just pop out of the wall like a fucking rat? This shit holds jails a regular goddamn circus. Wait, this is a jail? No, it's a fucking four-star hotel. Kid, all you, all you need to know is we run the place. So drop your pants and get in line with the rest of them pussies. Get them. Yeah, this is a really messed up game. These guys in the leather jackets are the most annoying. Because basically all they do is constant jump attacks. And yes, those guys are naked. But luckily, you can barely tell if they have junks or not. Hey, th thanks. I really thought I was a goner this time. And, uh, <laughs> you sure know how to make an entrance. A trick of the wall? Like an actual mole. Listen, buddy, that's not what I'm here for. All I care about is finding the nearest exit. Right, same as everyone here, I suppose. How crummy that you left your burrow only to end up in this pokey. Not to mention, half the inmates will be mad at you for beating up those guys. A prison on top of a lab. What kind of bullshit is this? At any rate, there's no turning back now. I gotta find a way out. Hmm, a lab? Well, listen, if you escort me to the cafeteria, I think I can get you access to the cell block. After that, straight through the visiting rooms and you're home free. The two of us can do it. Alright then, not like I have much choice. Let's get a move on. Now, this part gets really bad, especially when you're trying to do the achievement where you get through this whole entire section without the prisoner getting hit once, which I tried multiple times, believe me. It's practically impossible. You know what? I like it in Berserk mode. Everything just speeds up and acts all crazy. And it sends enemies just flying. There's actually a necro mix of uh, the tracks in this game. Yeah, unfortunately, this prisoner can't defend himself, but he can shove people off of you, which is pretty cool. And yes, he can actually get down, and he has to use your Necro to get up. Actually, I'm doing pretty good. He hasn't been hit once. <laughs> it feels really good when you're landing combos. Oh, no you don't. <clears throat> you're getting down for sure. I think that counts because he just grabbed him. Yeah. Get shit on. Yeah, you can pick up their heads and throw them. Got shank. It instantly kills an enemy, which is pretty cool. Ah, he got hit. That's bad. Well, there goes that achievement. He's getting his ass kicked. He's like Ashley Graham from freaking Resident Evil 4. He can't even defend himself. Alright, let's go. Really prob prob 
problem with this is you can be very vulnerable while you're extracting necro from a convulsing corpse. Yeah, he got shanked, so now he's instantly down. There we go. You know what? Take the shank. God damn, dude. Playing like a dumbass right now. Oh, that was pretty awesome. All right, let's see. I'm gonna instantly kill this guy. There you go. By the way, if their skin's not green, whether or not they convulse is completely random. Like, let's say one person convulses, and then, like, I don't know, like some other point, um, the other one does. Like, it's completely random. There we go, we've made it. Haha, -ha, yes, I snagged a key. Key ring went off right off one of those stupid guards. Okay, on second, I actually haven't done this in a while. So if I pull on this, wait, no shit. Code red, code red, electrical system malfunction. All prison staff to the cell block immediately. Crap, I screwed up bad. Now all the guards are going to swarm the place. Sorry, mole friend. I suggest you head back to your den before the rioting starts. Every man for himself. Yeah, we ain't doing that. So yeah, a lot of shit's going down here. But I think it's a very cool sequence in this game. Taking on the whole cell block. Hey, you automatically splat their heads when you're doing a face pound while berserk. And you can see his see Sergey in the top left. I'm gonna do it again. He's just going berserk. <laughs> like that's so badass. Oh yeah, firearms in this game. Oh my god, they take at least a quarter not or even a third of your health just from one bullet weapons are extremely deadly in this game it's a shitty weapon literally there we go guards are hitting each other All right, there we go. I think this might these might be short episodes. Hell yeah.
Ooh. Yeah. I can't believe he just sat there and let me beat the crap out of him, because usually they just rush up on you. Same when you're sucking up Necro. As soon as you start sucking up Necro, like, every enemy on the screen will just start coming towards you and just start rushing you. Black Racer is another awesome track by Fictions. I think these are going to be the last wave of enemies, I think. Nope. Oh, maybe these are the last ones? Yeah. Oh, nope, never mind. There's one more. Look how much damage that does. Holy hell. Yeah, sometimes they roll around. Like, they'll just roll, like, right out of your combo. Like, mid-combo, it's ridiculous. Dashing is very important in this game, because if you're in a group, cuddled into a group of enemies, you best dodge. Alright. Uh oh. What the hell's happening? These visions. What the fuck kind of creature was that? I don't know, Sergey. Anyways, here we go. We got our gun. And here's the boss. You're the guinea pig, eh? Mangy dog straight from a hobo camp. You, you know about that? Or kidnapping the lab under the jail? You're involved in all this crap? Not by choice. I told them to chop your balls off and be done with it. Certainly would have kept you in line, my prisoners. I know how to discourage them from pulling this prison break nonsense. But who are they, dammit? Who's behind this? Ha. You're not exactly in a position to be demanding answers, son. Now, while they come to get you and clean up their mess, we'll arrange a cozy little spot for you. Fair warning, I got an itch on my trigger finger. Come, go on, boy, give me an excuse to not use my nice big gun here. Now, do be careful, because he shoots and he does, like, a lot of damage. But there's a sniper there, which is what that laser sight is. If you play with four people, there's four snipers. Which is why I say playing by yourself is a lot easier. He's almost dead though. There you go. Time to shove off before any other guards show up. And that was on the run. And uh, let's go to the next chapter.